Batman Arkham City Strangely, I was never into Batman when I was a kid. I never saw the movies, I never watched the cartoon, and I never read any of the comics. I was more into Nickelodeon and Putt Putt Saves the Zoo and getting beat up at school. I didn't get into Batman until much later when Christopher Nolan's Batman movies came out, and to temporarily quell my enormous boner after watching the Dark Knight Rises trailer, I bought Arkham Asylum and Arkham City to play. As much as I enjoyed Arkham Asylum, I liked Arkham City even more. Arkham City introduces a whole bunch of new characters from the Batman universe, including one that is sure to get everyone a little excited in the pants. Oh yeah, you know who I'm talking about, the Penguin is in this game! Ah, look at him. He's so old and short and penguiny. Unfortunately, he does meet a pretty rough ending in this game. And by pretty rough, I mean being punched in the face 17,000 times in 3 seconds. Seriously though, there are a bunch of new characters in this game. Some of the main ones include Catwoman, Two-Face, Raja Ghoul, or Raja Ghoul, or Qui-Gon Jinn, however you pronounce it. I prefer to call him Mr. Ghoul anyway, we're tight like that. Penguin is in it, Mr. Freeze is in it, which, having only seen the Batman and Robin version of Mr. Freeze was a really cool experience. Then it made me want to punch Joel Schumacher in the throat. Robin's in it also, and they even managed to not make him a giant whining pussy. There are a bunch of return characters as well. Poison Ivy is back, the Riddler is back. Basically, if you name any popular Batman character, there's a good chance they're in this game. Of course, Harley Quinn and the Joker are back. Oh, yes, sweetie. No one's who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? It was all a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. Nice of you to say, but you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. That line is awesome enough, but the fact that it's being said by Luke Skywalker brings it to a whole other dangerously high level of awesome. There's a teeny little bit of me in you too, bats! The game itself perfectly combines open world, stealth, beat em up, and puzzle solving to create an unbelievable game. Being able to fly around the whole city alone makes it better than Arkham Asylum in my opinion. Even just getting from one place to another is made fun by being able to latch onto buildings and fly around. Doing it as Catwoman with her whip is even cooler. Trying to take out an entire room of bad guys without being seen is always fun and really makes you feel like the Dark Knight himself. If you ever get bored of the main storyline, there are a ton of side quests to do. Riddler trophies, murder investigations, and tons of characters from the Batman universe to check out. This is where the game really goes far beyond Asylum. There were certainly side missions in Asylum, but nothing like this. I actually plan on making this a 100% beaten game for me. It's that fun. You will kill me. You will lead the League of Assassins, because if you do not join us, I will kill the only person you have ever loved. The game also does a much better job at mixing up the boss battles. In the first one, it felt like every battle was basically the same thing. A big guy charges at you, you hit them with your batarang, and then beat them up. In this one, you're forced to use your other weapons, which makes them all much more fun. Even in the fight with Solomon Grundy, which might seem a little lame, after all, this big thing starts roaring at you, 
and then you're just placing bombs on lights the whole battle. But it's still at least different from the other boss battles, so in the end, it's not as lame as it might seem. The Qui-Gon Jinn boss fight was my favorite. As far as the storyline goes, it's certainly not complex, but it's at least more interesting than Asylum. It starts off with Bruce Wayne getting arrested, which is more of a plot twist than anything in Asylum. And I won't spoil the ending, but it was downright cinematic. It really started to feel like a movie. If you're even remotely interested in Batman, this game is a must buy. Even if you don't care about Batman, give it a try. In conclusion, I'd like to say, na 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 Batman. Hey, I finally won a whole video without saying fuck. Oh wait, 